Hi everyone. Today we're going to do a chicken noodle soup. So one of my favorite things to do when I buy the rotisserie chickens at Walmart or Sobeys or Costco is to get two meals out of it. So I bring that home. That's my quick cheat um, for everyone to have roast chicken. And then the next day what I do is make chicken noodle soup. So I take all the meat off of the bones with my chicken and then put the meat, the bones, into water. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to let it simmer. This is the best type of bone broth that you can ever have. It's got all the nutrients in it and it's super duper easy and another way to get two meals out of one chicken. So we're going to turn on the heat and let this simmer for about 20 minutes and we'll come back and do the next stage of the soup. Okay, so while you've got your skeleton or bones cooking in, boiling in the water, what you're going to do is get your vegetables ready. So you're going to take a pan, a skillet here, and take two tablespoons of margarine or butter. Then you're going to put in um, four, well, two stalks of carrots. I had little tiny ones, so they're actually four. And then you're going to put in two stalks of celery. And then one onion. Now the awesome tool that I've used is a mandolin. My mom bought this for me and you can adjust the settings to different settings and chop your vegetables. It makes it super duper fast but you need to be careful that you don't hurt your fingers or cut your fingers. So that is your word of caution. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these vegetables for about five to six minutes. Um, I'm also going to add in here some minced garlic, four teaspoons of minced garlic into this as well and cook this for five to six minutes. Meanwhile, the chicken and bones are still boiling. Okay, so now we've added two bay leaves and a half a teaspoon of dry thyme. Fresh th thyme tastes awesome, but I didn't have that. So half a teaspoon of that. What I've done is I've drained the bones out of the liquid and I had uh, nine cups of broth. And now I'm gonna add my vegetables to the broth. And they've just become tender. They're not cooked all the way through, but they become nice and tender. And because they were on the mandolin and cut nice and thin, that process went super duper fast. Right. And now with that done, I'm going to add in two cups of chicken. And this is the chicken that I took off of the um, rotisserie chicken. And now I'm going to mix it in. So I remembered that I put in two bay leaves. That's important. So you can grab the bay leaves out before you serve it. Um, and now we're gonna let it simmer for a little bit longer um, to all those nice flavors mixed together. And once they've mixed together, then we're gonna get ready to add the egg noodles. So stay tuned for that. We'll come back. All right. So the soup has been um, simmering for about 20 minutes. I actually ended up adding another cup of chopped chicken just because I wanted it to be a little heartier. Next, what you're going to do is add in half a bag of egg noodles. And I like the egg noodles just because they're a little bit lighter and uh, you can use whatever noodle you want to, but that's what I want to use. I'm actually gonna take out my bay leaves right now. So there's one. There's one. And on the search for the second one. <laughs> Where'd she go? Hmm. Gotta find it. Oh, there it is along the side. Okay. Okay, and now what we're going to do next is we're going to make dumplings. So this is going to start boiling again. We've been simmering and now we're gonna bring it to a boil. And the part that my kids love the best about this meal is the dumplings. So what I've added to the dumpling mixture here is one and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon Two, sorry, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and three tablespoons of margarine. So what you're gonna do is you're going to cut in with a pastry mixer the ingredients together. 
until it's a fine and flaky texture. This is just gonna take me a little bit to do that. Excuse the fingers, they are clean. Guess I should have grabbed a knife, but I didn't. Combining it all together. Wall cutting in my pan back to the soup and show it. Look at that awesome soup. Okay, so the egg noodles are gonna cook, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the dumplings to the top of the soup next. Okay, and now what we're going to add is our three quarter cup of milk. And mix that all in together. And we'll get ready to put them in the dumplings, in the soup next. Okay, so we've got the dumpling mixture all made up. Now what you do is with the boiling water, you're gonna dump um, individual dumplings into the pot one by one, trying not to put it directly into the water because it does make it doughy. And I just try to do little tiny ones because no one wants a huge dumpling in their soup. And I'll show you what they look like once they're all in. So the dumplings are all in. What we're going to do is we're going to cook it uncovered for 10 minutes. Then we're going to cover it and cook it for another 10 minutes and the soup and dumplings will be all done. Meanwhile, the noodles are cooking underneath at the same time. So is she ready and to go?